Good morning. I am Councilmember Donovan Richards of the 31st District in Queens, and I'm proud to serve as chair of the Public Safety Committee. Thank you for joining us today as we vote on proposed intro number 605A, sponsored by Councilmember Levin. He could not be here this morning, but he sends his regards and is happy that we are moving this legislation to require the NYPD to submit reports on the enforcement of marijuana possession. I'd like to thank the members of the Public Safety Committee who are here. We're joined by Council Members Ballone, Powers, Deutsch, Rodriguez, Menchaca, and Lanceman. The enforcement of low-level marijuana offenses in New York City has long been a social justice issue. For decades, communities of color have received a significantly disproportionate amount of the enforcement, even though research tells us that people of all races use marijuana at a similar rate. Last month, this committee, together with the Committee on the Justice Committee, chaired by Councilmember Lanceman, held an oversight hearing on enforcing marijuana laws. In advance of that hearing, we requested data from the NYPD, including data which would be required by the bill we are voting on today. Not only did the NYPD fail to give us that data we, we requested before the hearing, but the department's testimony at the hearing did not suggest the need to address this disproportionate policing is a priority for the department. Needless to say, I, for one, feel the council's oversight on this issue must not let up. And for this reason, we are going to higher heights today, and I urge my colleagues to vote in favor of proposed intro 605A so we can continue to hold the NYPD accountable for their enforcement practices and work to eradicate racially biased policing, needlessly roping people into the criminal justice system and wasting millions of taxpayer dollars on a substance that nine states plus Washington, D.C. has already legalized. I want to thank Councilmember Levin for his leadership on this issue. I'd like to also thank Councilmember Rory Lanceman, who's been a steadfast partner in this. And now we are going to ask our committee clerk to call the roll and begin the vote. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, Committee on Public Safety. Chair Richards. I vote aye. Deutsch. Uh, may I explain my vote? Yes, sir. So um, although that uh, this bill is a, um, is a um, reporting bill on the disparity of marijuana use, I just want to say for the record, um, as I mentioned at the hearing before, that uh, before we talk about or think about um, reducing any type of enforcement on marijuana use, I just want to mention that uh, first, firstly, uh, DA Gonzalez has a, a new program called Project Clear, where if uh, they are, um, take someone in for drug use, uh, they will be given an opportunity to go to rehab, mm -hmm. which I fully, fully support because um, jail is not an option, and it's not a cure for anyone uh, on uh, who on, on substance abuse. Secondly, uh, I've also mentioned that alcohol causes impaired judgment. So if someone drives and get pulled over and has a 0.08 alcohol level, then they go to jail um, for uh, driving while intoxicated. But the fact is, is that if someone uses marijuana and then enters a vehicle, his or her judgment is equally, almost equally impaired. So we need to come up with ways to try to figure out that um, we, sh we need a way to test if someone uh, smokes marijuana and then goes into a vehicle because marijuana stays in your system for weeks. And there's no way for an officer who pulls someone over who's DUI to determine if that person just had a joint or it was, uh, he smoked a joint weeks ago. So I just want to say that for the record, and I vote aye in this bill. Thank you, Councilman Deutsch. Lanceman. Aye. Menchaca. Uh, permission to explain my vote? Yes, sir. Thank you. I just want to um, also support the, the, the bill and really change the relationship with our NYPD to bring more transparency to this discussion. Um, I think the questions that Councilmember Deutsch are, are good ones, and I think the report's going to actually answer some of those questions. Uh, the enforcement um, 
I think some of the hypotheses out there are that we're not necessarily enforcing uh, drivers where this is the stuff is happening in our communities on our streets and the kind of focus for black and Latino communities is real. Um, and we're gonna see that where the enforcement is actually happening. So I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, looking forward uh, to answering a lot of Councilmember Deutsch's questions in this, in this reporting and this further engagement. So um, with that, I vote aye. Rodriguez. Permission to ask another vote? Councilmember Rodriguez, yes sir. So even though we don't have the same type of segregation in the 1960s, still today we live in a city, in a society where children and young people live some type of segregation. And one of them is about how the justice system works for black and Latino compared to others. We would like to see a society, a city where everyone are treated equal. And we believe that by this bill, NYPD will be mandated to provide the data, the statistic, and therefore we allow us to put better policy on how they deal with the marijuana in our society. So with that, I vote aye. Valone. Aye. Powers. Aye. By vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative and no abstention, item introduction 605A has been adopted by the committee. We'll hold the vote open for 15 minutes. I also would like to add my name as well. Now you're getting crazy. Hmm. Yeah, I'd like. Yeah, Lanceman, if I could be on the vote also, I'd appreciate it. Minjaka as well, thank you. 